In this video, I'm gonna talk about how you can create this fog and it's run on graphic card or GPU and um, it's procedural and it's fastest fog system out there because it's used graphic card, not CPU. There are some fog objects out there that people sell, I think, that they use particles. Particles use a lot of CPU to work. So the best way to do it is with this shader. So without any further ado, let's begin. So for doing that, let's just create a project, call it Fox or whatever. What I did is that I create this shader and upload it to Marketplace so you can easily download it and use it in your project. First thing to do, you should go to, uh, you should open Marketplace by clicking on Open Marketplace. And when you have done that, just search for Fog Shader. And after you search for this Fog Shader, just add it to your account. It is free and I did create it. There is, um, I think, there is other fog system as well that using particle, particle use CPU, so it maybe it can uh, slow down your game. But when you use shader for fog or for for whatever, it will be a lot faster because it runs on GPU or graphic graphic card. So it will be, let's say, like 100 times faster and it won't slow down your game. So after you add it to your account, just go to your library, refresh it and find it here, fog, download it. And after you download it, just add all to your project and click import and uh, you see there is a room that we don't want so let's just remove this room and import it now and close this let's open up our room and the thing that you should do you should just put this object in your room and wherever you want you want to have that fog you should stretch that to that place so i wanted the fog to be in whole in all of my room it's like this so it cover my room we can run it now and we have that fog in our project and you can see it i think uh, if you don't see it on the video just add it to your project and check it there um, but we, you can change a lot of stuff with this without knowing any knowledge of shaders so if we click on it let's just zoom it go to variables in variables you can edit color of the fog you can edit fog alpha fog is x speed and fog y speed and fog density so let's just crank it up for fog alpha I think you will see it better it's uh, no it's like cloud for the fog you should always stick to 0.1 but uh, according to your game you should you can change the alpha and uh, for the speed I can maximize the speed like this and run it again and you can see there is a cool fog here and it's run on GPU, not CPU. Let's change a speed again for the Y speed. And you can see that the fog is going down because the fog is heavier than air. So I think it's uh, you can you can change everything with it change y speed change x speed and you can change these variables at the runtime in whatever object that you have you just add it and you just say obg fog dot 
uh, fog x speed or fog y speed and you can change that and you can see we have this fog here let's say you want to have the fog that the wind is blowing blowing to that fog so how we can create it we can just increase this fog fog x speed and let's just run it to see how it work and you can see it's like the wind is blowing from left side um, to our fog so you can see it clearly we can decrease this wire speed i think it's it we cooler yeah so it's like a fog that wind is blowing at the left side of it so that's that's how easy you can do fog in your game just add this object to your game and stretch it to where you wanna have that fog and you have that fog that's how easy it is done if you if you want to know how how it's done there is a lot of tutorial on youtube about shader you can see that i didn't use vertex shader i use fog shader and some simple coding here and it make us that fog all the shader is is about math and some knowledge of c plus plus so i don't know a lot about math but there is a lot of resources on internet that they create a lot of cool shader that we can convert it to our game maker shader so in the future you will see a lot of shader that i convert from other engine or other tutorials to game maker so stay tuned so that's it for our fog thank you very much for watching if you like this video hit that like button please it helped me a lot thank you very much bye